So this lava lamp gives you a really good idea of how convection currents work. Down here, there's a heat source. And as the water that's here becomes um, more heated, it becomes less dense. Remember that as things get heated up, the molecules start moving faster and further apart. So as they start moving faster and further apart near the heat source, they become less dense and they start floating up. The further they get away from the heat source, the more the molecules will start slowing down and coming together, creating more density. So they'll sink. They go to the heat source, become less dense and rise, go up where it's a little bit cooler, become more dense and sink. So you have this constant circular pattern going on in the lava lamp that's caused by the density differences, depending on whether the water is by the heat source or up away from the heat source. So this is exactly what happens in the Earth's mantle. If you remember the layers of the Earth, we have the core right here, which is really hot, and we have the crust, which is much, much cooler. And then in between, we have the mantle. So if we look at this lava lamp as if it's the layers of the Earth, we'd have material within the mantle that gets superheated when it's down by the, crop, by the uh, core. As it gets superheated, it becomes less dense and moves up towards the crust. As it gets to the crust, though, it actually becomes, cools off and becomes more dense and sinks. Gets close to the core, becomes less dense, rises, gets close to the crust, becomes more dense, sink. So you constantly have this circular motion going on within the mantle because of the temperature differences between what's down here by the core and what's up here. That temperature differences will change the density of the material, causing these convection currents throughout the mantle. Now the thing is, up here, the lithosphere is. So you have your lithosphere or your tectonic plates that sit up here. And as this circular motion of the con um, convection currents occurs, it moves the lithosphere along with it. Okay, so you wind up having all of the tectonic plates moving up here because of this circular motion that happens in the mantle.